Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I wanted to take a few minutes this evening to update you on the Odroid Go Ultra build. The first thing here is uh, we got Doom. You gotta have Doom. I'm not going to show things I've already showed in previous videos, but I did add a Atari ST. Some other stuff I want to show you later in the video as well. There's been some progress made in a couple areas, which I'm excited about. There's also about 75 systems in here right now. Since the last video, I did add Naomi and Atmos Wave. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, it's running well. It does take a moment to launch, but not overly long. I also expect to be adding more systems to this as well. <clears throat> I think we all know by now that I plan to get as many systems as I possibly can. Oh, I don't have this in the theme yet, but this is the Dreamcast VMU. I'm trying to get the camera to zoom properly. You get the idea. This has been added, Amstrad CPC. I think I actually showed that in a previous video now that I hear that clicking. It's really irritating, but uh, it does work. Pico 8 still needs work. I added Thompson here, Theodore, and I don't have a BIOS. Also added ZX81. As you can see, we got a lot of Commodore systems. I added VIC-20, plus 4, PET. Sharp X1 is here. Uh, Odyssey 2, or Video Pack's been added back. Now, I'm going to show you something that I'm working on. This isn't done yet. You're going to notice that this is really slow, which makes no sense because it's Nintendo. I'm still figuring out why. 
But what's unique about this and is different from the stock image here is this is using RetroArch. Now the weird thing is it's only laggy if I launch it from uh, like from emulation station itself. If I launch it from the GUI it's not laggy which is what's confusing. Famicom disk system I kind of wanted it to play the BIOS. There we go. I don't know why. I just like that BIOS. Safami and Satella viewer here. GameCube, as I was saying before, I do think that we can get better performance out of it, but I don't think it's ever going to play every game great. Just a fair warning. Added PC 88 and 98. A lot of these do require BIOS, by the way. If you're using the stock build, the BIOS will go directly in with the core. And if you're using the custom build, it'll just go into ROMs, BIOS. As I stated before, I plan to do two separate builds. One will be completely based on stock, but will add a lot of systems above and beyond what's in the, sorry, the basic stock image. And then one will be using RetroArch and have a lot of custom stuff in it. Added PCFX. added PSP minis back. Here I added, this is uh, MAME non-year, so just straight up MAME. And of course I'd pick a bad ROM. Now the thing is, you only want to use MAME for some of the newer titles that don't work in MAME 2003. The reason for this is, <coughs> the newer MAME core with no year if you load the wrong game, it'll just straight up freeze on you sometimes and force you to have to reboot. So just use it for what it's meant for. For those of you that are wondering why there's a gray bar up here, it's because this is where the, the banner that will say, you know, Odroid or Retro Arena and the battery icon and whatnot will be. It's just not currently here. I'm going to reverse this and go the other way. Oh, we were at the, actually at the end. Alright, so, <clears throat> as you can see, there's, I think, 74, 75 systems. Now, something else I'm testing or playing with, as I was saying earlier, here is the RetroArch GUI. Oops, wrong thing. Double tapping this key here, bottom right, we'll just quit and start select here. We'll bring you into the RetroArch menu. This won't be in the stock build, but this will be in the, the more customized build. Just look at the core list, actually.
Arduous won't work until I upgrade the uh, <coughs> version of RetroArch and neither will same CDI. But the rest of this will. As you can see, like I said, there's, there's quite a lot of cores here. There's one thing I haven't tested yet, and I figure, since I'm doing a video anyway, maybe we'll just test it together. kind of strange that it didn't like the Virtual Boy game. As I was saying, RetroArch isn't, um, sorry, it's not done being set up yet. Yeah, I gotta figure out what's up with the Virtual Boy core. There's one other issue here that I'm trying to intentionally create so I can show you. It just doesn't feel like working with me. Oh, sorry. That's super graphics. I wanted super vision. Ah, uh, there. See, now you can see the issue. You see how the, uh, <coughs> the frame buffer didn't clear the screen there? And then sometimes when you bring up the menu and try to get rid of it that way, it'll just cause the device to freeze. So that's the big issue I'm working on there. And, uh, I also want to give a huge shout out to Johnny on Flame for helping with, or not helping with, for creating, writing, building, whatever you want to call it, the rotated SDL for this. And I also want to give a shout out to Crash Override and also to Hard Kernel and Justin. Also, Travis Wilson for the theme. I'm trying to see the number here at the bottom 77 minus one for the options menu. So there's currently 76 systems on here. I don't think that there's actually anything else I need to show you guys. This isn't meant to be a long video, it's just an update to the first video here. Uh, I've started posting on the hard kernel forums as well about the build. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be doing another series of videos I suppose on this in the next few days and also Tomorrow, I believe, I'll be releasing Ubuntu 22 for the Aya Air. Anyways, take care. Bye.